Are you starting out in machine learning and data science and you're unsure about which programming language to start learning? Well, in this video, I'm going to list the pros and cons of each language so that you guys are better equipped to choose the right programming language for you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Python, R, and MATLAB, as these are one of the most famous programming languages, especially when it comes to machine learning and data science. I want to preface this video by saying that I personally use Python and also when I started out learning machine learning, a lot of the people I did talk to often told me not to waste my time with R or MATLAB and just stick to Python. But as I've learned more and more about machine learning and data science, I've realized that R has its own unique advantages over Python and so does MATLAB. So they are definitely worth checking out and learning. First off, we have Python. Python is the most widely used programming language in machine learning and data science, but also it's a really popular language in app development and software development. So it's definitely such a useful language to learn. The main advantages of Python is that it's open source, so there's tons of resources and code snippets available online that you guys can easily learn from. And there's tons of support from various different people who have used Python, which is easily available online. And also there's so many amazing Python libraries dedicated to machine learning and deep learning, which is a huge advantage. Some of these really famous frameworks or libraries include things like TensorFlow and PyTorch, Pandas and Scikit-learn. So there's tons of that. One of the biggest advantages of Python is that it is used in the machine learning industry by a lot of companies. So if you're looking to get hired, it's a great language to have on your resume. That being said though, R is in really close competition with Python and I see a lot of job openings requesting for R as well. Next up, we have R. R is a programming language and software environment which was specifically designed for data analysis and statistics. It's widely used by researchers in this field and since it's specifically designed for analysis, it's much better at it than Python, which is a more general programming language. A lot of people find that R is better than Python at dealing with large data sets. And that's also one of the reasons why its popularity amongst companies is increasing because they've realized that it outperforms Python, especially when it comes to huge amounts of data. A lot of people also think that R is a much harder language to learn than Python is, but that is not the case. In fact, R is just as much recommended to beginners as much as Python is. So if you are a beginner, you can definitely consider R as a starting language as well. Last but not least, we have MATLAB, which you have probably used if you have taken a calculus class. Now, MATLAB is really good at plotting graphs and data analysis and also dealing with really math heavy stuff because it gives you the ability to create your own algorithms really easily. Unlike Python, where you would have to download a package or library as you go along when you need it. Uh, MATLAB comes with all the packages that you might need so you don't have to download anything additional on top of that. But one huge downside to MATLAB is that it's not open source. So you definitely don't have the level of support that you get with Python or R. The biggest advantage that MATLAB has over R and Python is that it's much better at visually representing your data than both of those other languages. However, the reason why MATLAB is still more used in universities and schools versus in real-world scenarios is because of the lack of support since it's not an open source software. I think that's also the main reason why a lot of people who start off learning machine learning and data science don't really even consider MATLAB. Instead, they look at Python and R, which totally makes sense, of course. I think it's really good to look at all three of these languages to see that they have their own pros and cons. So what do you guys think? What is your preferred language of choice? And if you are starting machine learning, which language are you going to go with? Comment down in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video.